Okay guys, here we are again. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to find the area of a two-dimensional shape, pardon me, using a grid. So we have a simple grid right here. And we're gonna find we're gonna use this grid to find the area of a shape. Now let's introduce this shape right here. We have a simple shape, simple rectangle. We want to find out the area of it, right? But first of all, we have to remember something very important. We have to remember that. We have to remember the formula for finding area. The, fo the formula for finding area is, let me put A for area, A equals length times width. So in order to find area, we have to multiply length by width, L by W. Okay, so now what is the length of this shape right here first of all the length is always going to be the longest side the longer of the two side the sides right so the longer side is one two three four five so the length is five units so i'm going to write my five down right here let me write five and then let's put my x times and the width is one two Let's write my two and that's gonna be equal to ten of course again we're finding area so we simply can't just say ten because we're multiplying two dimensions we're multiplying the length by the width so therefore the answer has to be square all right so let me write my square which is a tiny little two on top of the ten so in essence, the answer would be 10 square, right? Or 10 square units, really. Because if you can count all of these right here, you can clearly see that there are 10, 10 squares in this overall rectangle. So let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the area of the shape right here this rectangle is 10 square units. Pretty straightforward. You know what? Let's do another one, for example. We can take that out, add a new one. Okay, here's another shape. Totally different length and width. So again, remember, in order to find the area, we have to multiply length by width. We don't know what the length is. We don't know what the width is. All we have to do is simply count the units per side, per this side and this side the length and the width so let's count the units of the length basically which is the longer of the longer side longest side so we got one two three four five six so that's our length our length is six times or width which is going to be one two three four so six times four is equal to 24 and of course remember we're working on area so the answer has to be in square units All right so how do you write square nice little tool on top so the answer is 24 square units make up this blue rectangle right here that's the answer so the area is 24 square units and of course you have to remember you're multiplying length by width and in order to find the length just count count how many units make up the longer side to find the width count how many units make up the shorter side multiply them you get your answer and you always have to have the square on top because you're multiplying two dimensions length and width